Greetings everyone. I'm Lady Silver Sage of A Witch's Life and I'd like to welcome you to your angel oracle reading for the whole entire week. Now I am hoping that all of you have had a wonderful weekend, a time to rest up and enjoy all of the good things in life, your families, your friends, but also to Enjoy the Super Bowl. <laughs> Hopefully your team won. Um, I'm not so much into football anymore because the only football that we have here really is soccer, what they call it, football. Um, if you want to see American football, you have to stay up pretty darn late. And that's not a good idea because I had to get up pretty darn early this morning. <laughs> so yeah, I hope your team won if you are um, looking at football and I hope everything went well for you. I hope you received all of the blessings that the angels and your spiritual support group had for you. And oh yes, for those of you who are new and have subscribed to this channel, I thank you so sincerely and I welcome you to our family. Our family is small right now, but we are growing it. And if you would like to be a member of this family, all you need to do is just click that subscribe button and then right next to it, make sure that you click on the bell. After you click on the bell, you need to click all because that way you will get all of my new videos that are coming up. Okay, so, and in case you can tell that I'm a little bit more relaxed today, I finally went ahead and got my account verified so now I don't have to rush through things and I can explain things a little bit better. And um, as always, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And if you would like, which I would like, please leave a nice uh, loving comment down below because that just it really picks me up to let me know that you guys are interacting with my channel and that I'm doing something for you guys, that you're really getting something out of it. So please go ahead and leave a nice loving comment down below, leave your questions down below, and I will definitely get back to you if you need me to, okay? All right, I have gone ahead and I've meditated over the cards. And um, yeah, the only thing left for me to do is to put on my angel oil. And that is this. I show it to you guys every time because I really love this stuff. Some good stuff. I like to put it on my wrists. And it smells really good too. Um, also, just to make sure that you know, for those of you who might be new here, um, I can make angel oil for you as well. I can also make other types of oil for, for example, for sleeping if you need it or massage oil. If you'd like to strengthen your third eye and talking about third eye, just one moment, please. Yes. Um, also, I can make love oils because especially today, it is Valentine's Day. Um, I think every day should be a day of love, not just one day out of the year, but um, we all have our different views on that. I hope that everyone gets everything that they would like to have. Um, yes, yeah, so if you'd like to order any of the oils that I make or any of the jewelry that I make, I will leave the link down below and you can just get in touch with me, let me know, and we'll get it situated for you, okay? Okay. Hang on just one moment, please. I need to get my lighter. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and light a nice big fat sage bundle <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and cleanse our space, cleanse ourselves, 
or myself. And we're going to cleanse the cards. And in case you don't know why I cleanse the cards, it's because I'd like to remove the residual energies from the other tarot readings that I have done with them for clients. So, excuse me a moment. Okay. Now we can just let that burn itself out. Tidy up a bit. All right. You guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel. Um, I don't miss my old channel at all. I like the new way that I'm doing things. And if you like the new way that I'm doing things, please let me know. Comment down below on my YouTube channel, okay? The algorithms would really appreciate that, and so would I. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and start out with my most favorite cards, the Diane Virtue Angel Messages cards. I just need a moment so that I can go a little bit deeper uh, now that I have my angel oil on and connect deeper with my angels and my spiritual support group. Dear guardian angels, dear angels, dear archangels, dear guardians, dear ancestors, dear guides, dear goddess, dear god, dear universe, dear creators, dear Arisha, I ask sincerely that you be here today and help me to see clearly, help me to see clearly, help me to see clearly, help me to relay to those who are watching the messages that you channel through me and wish for me to relate to them. Thank you so sincerely. Show me where to stop shuffling to relay your message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. The first card we have is Nurture. Nurture. Yeah, that's a good card for this week. <laughs> okay, Nurture. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, nurture your own inner child. Nurture your own inner child. <sighs> Both activities are important for you right now. So if you have children, make sure that you nurture them, but also make sure that you nurture your own inner child. And I'd like to even go a little bit further um, to interpret this from what I am gathering, is that you need to go ahead and nurture yourself physically also. Um, be sure to take the time that you need to sit in prayer or meditation or just in the stillness. Okay, and listen, open up your mind, close your eyes, and just listen for what comes into you from your spiritual support group. And if you're not really sure what a spiritual support group is, please look at my last video that I did. I know it was a little bit quick. I will address that at another time, later time, um, about spiritual support groups. But just sit 
and listen, okay, with an open mind. Also, you might want to pamper yourself, um, like taking care of your bodily needs, like trimming your nails, um, hands and feet, <laughs> uh, washing your hair, or, or taking a long hot bubble bath, you know, making sure that you're eating nourishing foods, you know, and drinking lots and lots of water, not just wine. <laughs> Yes, but drink lots and lots of water and, you know, we want to purify our bodies because our body, bodies are temples inside and outside. And if you have not started a, a new physical exercise regime, you might want to go ahead and do that because now is the very best time. Okay, it's the very beginning of the year, well, almost the very beginning of the year, and now is a good time to start these things so that you can get into a rhythm and continue it and expand upon these rhythms throughout the year. Okay, the next card we have is comfort. <laughs> now this is going along very, very well with nurture. Okay, comfort. Oh, Archangel Azrael, <laughs> I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal helping your heart to heal. When you, if you should happen to have a heartbreak going on right now, and today being Valentine's Day, I don't know if you celebrate it or not, but um, if things are not really going the way that you would like for them to go, then please just have a chat with your angels. Sit in prayer, in meditation, in the stillness, and then just have a, a little chit chat with your angels. Let them know what's going on because they are here for you. They are t they're here to to help you and to to nurture you and to bring your spirits back up where they belong. Okay. And if things are going good for you, be sure to thank the angels, your spiritual support group. Okay. And this one is hello from heaven. Hello from heaven especially on this wonderful love day. Hello from heaven. <sighs> Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. And I tell you, I've been missing my daddy so much. <laughs> I miss my mom, I miss my dad, they both crossed over, but they both come to visit and I tell you yesterday was so bad. So if you're having these feelings of missing someone who has crossed over, you guys, just know that this reading is telling you they are fine. They are fine, they're wishing you well and they are coming to visit you. They are coming to check up on you. But what you need to do is sit in the stillness, sit in meditation, sit in prayer, sit in thankfulness, and just have an open mind and let their vision flow into your mind, into your body, into your soul. And let their goodness and love just ingratiate your entire being and think of the good times that you had in the past with your loved ones who have crossed over. Think of those wonderful times where you were all together and just feeling good and everybody was happy, full of joy, full of love and laughter and excitement. Just let these feelings flow into you. Your loved ones, wherever they may be, whether it be heaven, whether it be the summer lands, wherever they may be. My sister Edith Marie. Edith Marie. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Yes, hello from heaven. Um, everything is your, um, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, dear spiritual support group. Thank you. That was powerful. My goodness. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine, so let go of your worries. Let go of your worries and just feel their loving blessings. It is, oh my gosh, you guys, that was amazing. <laughs> I wish that you guys could feel what I feel when when the angels my or my entire spiritual support group works through me. That 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 warmth, that feeling, the tingling, the it's like you just kind of zone out and it's such an amazing an amazing feeling. It's like you're there with them all of a sudden. I I wish you guys could feel it. Ooh, okay, you guys. <laughs> These are um, also the Diane Virtue Angel Blessing cards. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these. I am so grateful. You guys, my half-sister um, just crossed over um, less than a week ago. And yeah, she was just making her presence known, <laughs> Edith Marie. And I know that she's there with my mother and my brothers and her husband that she loved so dearly boy what a magical and powerful time I'm so glad you guys are here to share this with me <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here so that I can share it with you <laughs> and I'm glad we have a lot more time <laughs> all right but I'm not going to really just take advantage of that. Ooh, this is good. Okay, look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need my specs for this one. <laughs> All right, you guys. Positivity, faith, and optimism. Positivity, faith, and optimism. <laughs> oh. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations. Positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep on going. Now, you notice that this said positive expectations. A lot of people that I know tell me, you oh, know, I just don't expect anything because I don't want to be disappointed. Y'all, yeah. I understand that that is a coping mechanism, a protection mechanism, okay? But I'm going to say it to you like this. When you don't expect, you cannot manifest, okay? When you don't expect, you cannot manifest. When you don't expect, you cannot manifest. One more time, if you don't expect, you cannot manifest. Okay. When you don't expect, then you just go through life accepting everything that happens to you. Okay. But when you expect, when you, when you intentionally expect, then you have to realize you're manifesting, you're co-creating. And that's one of the things that we are put in this world to do, to learn about our powers of co-creation and manifestation. Okay, expect things. Okay, yeah, not everything is gonna work out 100% perfect every single time. But I can tell you this, when you expect something, when you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you come up with an idea and you expect it to happen and, and you believe it's going to happen and you know, you know it's going to happen, okay? You know it's going to happen because not only do you need to believe it, you have to know it in order for it to happen. You've got to expect for it to happen because we are living in parallel universes, parallel worlds. And I know this is... A little bit off of the beaten track however it is something that I am totally enthralled with and I'm totally engrossed in and I'm hoping that more and more people are going to come to the realization that we are not the only ones in existence okay this is not the only world 
Okay, so we have a vortex, <laughs> as you guys might well know by now. Okay, and all of these things that we are putting into our vortexes, they are there for us in another world, in another level, in another dimension. And we've got to pull these things like like a, what do you call that, a trister, um, a funnel. Pull these things like a funnel into our physical creation. And when you expect, when you know, then that is exactly what you're doing. You are pulling these things into our physical creations. You are co-creating because you are a co-creator. Okay, that's right. That's what you are. Expect. Never just take whatever comes. Well, that didn't work out. I kind of wanted it like this and kind of wanted it like, uh, yeah, but it just didn't work out. So I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, yeah, whatever. No, you expect, 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 expect it. Okay. This is serious. Y'all might want to look at this video a few times, especially this part. Well, the whole thing, really. I know I'm going to because sometimes when I'm channeling, I really have no idea what I have just said because it's not me saying it might be my voice, but it's the angels or my spiritual support group talking through me. And I need to go back and really listen to these um, videos to hear, understand uh, what's going on. And I would urge you guys to do the same thing. All right, I am getting ready to use the Silver Sage Oracle. <laughs> These are the cards that I have designed myself, I think almost, what, maybe eight months ago, nine months ago, you guys. I felt like I was taking a chance doing this because they're not these um, store-bought cards that are really pretty and stuff. Mine are the Silver Sage or Oracle. See, and I spray painted the back of these cards silver. And I wrote on there the questions that I felt were really, really important that I felt like other Oracle cards just could not answer and were not asking. Yeah. So I hope you guys like these. I know you've seen me use them before and we're going to use them today. So come on, let's get with it. <laughs> okay. This one was flipped over. Come on, come on. Give me something that they really, really, really need to know. The people who are watching, give me something that they really, really need to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My spiritual support group, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was I just saying about this? If you are not into um, manifesting and creating, um, then I'm really hoping you and more people will get into that. Remember? Bam! Boop. Can you see it? Learn something new. 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 Learn. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yes, 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 my loves, learn something new. That's right. And I'm really hoping that you will learn, if you have not, I'm hoping that you will learn about uh, the parallel worlds, um, quantum jumping, quantum living, uh, quantum being, uh, uh, co-creating, manifestation, law of attraction, witchcraft because before law of attraction and all this stuff all these terms were available we had the wise women of this world who were pushed under by the the patriarchy sorry i had to add that in there because that just oh that tears me up but this is what all this stuff is it's just witchcraft you know, if you want to give it a name, it's witchcraft. It has to do with the wise women of the world who started way, 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 way back when in the Paleolithic times as the goddess, as the medicine women of the villages. People would come to them when, when they were sick and, and they were hurting and, and the, 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 
the medicine woman would, would, would go deep into her soul, meditate, and come up with the herbs, the herbs, the croiter, if you're German, <laughs> that she needed in order to help them. She would expect an answer. Okay? She would go into a different level of consciousness. Boop. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about this because this is getting really too long and I don't want to bore you all to death. I want you guys to be excited. I want you guys to be inquisitive. I want you to be curious. I want you to learn something new. Learn about this. Learn about witchcraft. Ooh. You know what? And that brings me to something else. If you really, really, really are interested in learning how to become a master creator, a co-creator, um, um, a manifester, perhaps you should join the Academy of International Witchcrafting. That's my academy. I came up with this academy because I want to help people to learn new things, a new way of being, a new way of living, a new, a new way of doing, and not just always doing the same thing the same way and expecting different answers. Okay, so I'm going to leave um, the email address and the link down below. If you're interested, go ahead and click on that link or write me a short, short email requesting your application to become a member, or I should say a student of our family, at the Academy of International Witchcrafting. Trust me, you will not be sorry about this. Okay. Before I go, I just want to send all of you bright, magical blessings. Bright, magical blessings. Bright, magical blessings to you. Bright, magical blessings to you all who are watching who are subscribing, who have subscribed, who are clicking like on my videos, and who are interacting with me through YouTube on my videos. Thank you. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, magical, angelic week. Take care of yourself. We'll see you the next time. I'm Lady Silver Sage. Bye.